Bitcoin split again. Well, sort of. There's the original Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, and now there's Bitcoin Private. But unlike its predecessors, Bitcoin Private is a copy also split from Crypto Z Classic, which is split from Zcash, which was originally a copy of Bitcoin. It's a fork of a fork of a fork. So the family tree is getting a little tangled. Here's what happens when Bitcoin forks. Bitcoin runs on a network called the blockchain. Think of it like a highway. It takes Bitcoin from point A to point B to complete a transaction. But as Bitcoin's popularity grows, so does traffic on the highway, meaning transactions move slower and there's more to maintain. That prompts groups of developers to suggest updates and changes to the network. If they can't get everyone on board to make a change, sometimes they just decide to launch their own version of Bitcoin, enacting what's known as a hard fork. The new coin exits off onto its own highway, creating an opportunity for people who own the original Bitcoin to get the new coin for free. The very unintended consequence was the, the spontaneous, virtual, virtually spontaneous creation of billions of dollars in wealth because these minorities also attracted a lot of investment. So you see something like Bitcoin Cash that goes to a market cap of $6 billion in the, in the, in the matter of weeks because Partly because there are people who believe in the technology and partly because people see an opportunity to make money. Just look at what happened to Z Classic's price during the launch of Bitcoin Private. After the fork was announced, the price of Z Classic jumped to nearly $200. Once the Z Classic blockchain was duplicated to make Bitcoin Private, Z Classic's price fell to just $24. Which means people may have just been trying to buy up Z Classic tokens because they knew they could get Bitcoin Private coins for free when it split. And the price spike calls a larger worry into question. Are all of Bitcoin's forks hurting its value? As a general rule, even if you're having multiple forks, the risk is not a technological risk. The risk is more a use risk. The risk is more an investment risk. If, we have, if we're going to have 12 versions of Bitcoin, Bitcoin red, black, green, gold, which one are people going to use? The number of routes you can take on your crypto journey is still growing. But right now, the original Bitcoin is still your best bet. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.